Pride it on my soul to keep. I came from the bottom, I got it from running. She fought with a boss, she fought with no runner. No time to be lost, so I hit and I go. My mind on the night ain't got no time to love. I've had a couple of slides. Oh my gosh. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Fortnite highlight video slash montage. It should be pretty fire. Today, we're going to go for a little yarn style. Made all these presets over here for you guys. It's going to be in the drive in the description. It's going to be pretty fire, so let's get into it. First, you're going to grab your clips. I'm still using t one clips, so I'm just going to go on my other screen right here. You see, you just want to go up here. Grab your clip and drag it onto this thing right here. Or you can right click and import. And then once you have these, once you imported that, you can import that and you can import your second clip or as many clips as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, now once you've imported all your clips, you can X this and you can drag on this. So you have this, right? If your clips are loud, you can turn them out, and I'll show you guys that in a second. So first, we're going to go for a yarn style. If you don't know yarn, go look them up right now. Pause the video, look them up right now. It's a pretty clean editor. So first, we're going to cut your clip. So you go to the end of it right here, or just grab this, and cut it right here. Go back to this tool, and then press the delete button, so it deletes it. So you have this, so now you have this. So now you want to cut the end of your clip. So boom. Like right there, perfect. So now you have little clip, all right, so you, now you want to go right click on it, right click. You're gonna have all these settings, you want to go to unlink, so it unlinks the audio from the video. So now you have the audio and the video, they're um, both uncombined or whatever. And now you want to click this blue thing, it will be automatically, un um, automatically on, so you want to click it off. And then put negative 20. For this guy's clips, I'm pretty sure negative 20 is good. Yeah, it's good. So it's like, not as loud. And it's clean. But you're like, you can't hear the pump shot when you put on music. We'll put on music in a second, and I don't know what's wrong with Premiere, but if you put on music first, it's going to make your clip 30 FPS, so don't do that. I don't know what's wrong with Premiere for that. Well, I don't know if that's wrong with your Premiere, but that's for my Premiere. So, now we're going to, we're not going to grab our song yet, never mind. We're going to do this clip, and then we can grab our song and sync it, and I'll teach you how to do that. So first, now you have this, you like, you can't hear the pump shot when we add on the song. But if we go here, you can either add a sound effect, I'll leave in the description as well in the drive. Or you can um, just go to where he shoots using your um, you can move keyframe with your arrow keys. So you want to zoom up, click this, cut it, and you're done here. So now you want to put this on like negative 13. It's all up to you, you have to find your way, but for this guy it's a negative 13. So it's like that. And then when you go over here, I don't know, it's something that I do. I don't you don't have to do it. You just put a keyframe right here, like in the middle. And you go all the way to the end of the sound. And you put it back to what it was. So negative twenty. So it's like a little more cleaner. <sighs> Basically for the first clip, but that's for the audio though. So now you want to go to right click on this. I'm gonna teach you how to do velocity. So now you want to go right click on this, timing mapping speed, okay? So now you want to go to where he shoots, press control and click, and then go like 10 frames forward. For this video we'll do 10 frames around, yeah 10 frames. So now we zoom, we um, not zoom up, we drag this up to 300 speed and then we put this down to either all like yarn in them they put it at 50 but I put it at 60 so you can do it at whatever you want it to be just not anything higher than 60 because unless it's like a slow-mo clip and creative or whatever so you have this now so that's pretty clean 
you don't want to add on texture trust me you get hate and um it's not as clean than this it's just you'll get better you'll get more subs for this so now you want to cut it right here and you're like there's still like a spot that's at 100 speed so you want to zoom that up so it's going to be like 11 so you want to zoom that up to like 300 and it's like gonna go like that so you're just going to do this now you have that so boom you have this and now um you want to right click on this clip and nest so you have a nest right here so it's like velocity and then a nest so you're like what do we do with the nest you could just put on all the effects so now you want to go over to this thing you probably won't have this folder but i, ha I made this myself I made all these presets did not take from anywhere i'm not lying i did not take it from anywhere they're not so good so if you want to find your own transitions you can do that so you're going to go to you can use your main regular shake which is just like like just a regular like a yarn shake type thing just like a RGB yarn shake thing but right now we're gonna be using the X and Y impact so it's like this I think it looks pretty clean so you have this and that's all you have to do drag on a preset if you want to like adjust this stuff brightness and contrast and stuff you can do that you can adjust all the shakes if you're like an expert but if you were an expert you wouldn't be watching this video um so you have the first clip down you can add like a build up if you want and i'll go up with the build up why not bro i'll just go up with the build up i go like what you can do with the build up so now you want to um i'll just like zoom past this and show you all my settings all right all right and i'm back boys so i have the shake and this um it's not huge saturation but it is saturation but it's saturation so it's a black and white build up here so you have a little black and white shake build up here so i'm gonna show you all the settings so first i'm gonna go with the hue saturate so first we're gonna go to saturation 1000 at the beginning keyframe it presses blue thing right here and then it's 1000 so go all the way to the end and put it on zero don't put it any lower than zero because this is what it'll look like you do not want that and now you want to go to um you're done with this hue saturation and brightness i'm gonna go to shake and you want to do keyframe the amplitude to zero at the beginning and then go all the way to the end and keyframe it to 2.3 and put the frequency at 15 okay you're gonna go to x shake and you're gonna just drag this all the way down to zero leave all the other stuff drag this all drag this all the way down to 50 that's good and this stuff is already off this is off this stuff. and drag this up to 50 and you should have it good if you want to like change the keyframes you just press control click on them then go to like contiguous bezel or something like that and you have a little build up thing so now we're gonna go to transitions and you want to go to gra drag on your other clip so you have your other clip on you want to cut your other clip you want to do all the stuff we did so unlink it put it to whatever your thing whatever how low you want it and it's like a you cut where you want to start the clip so I'm gonna start it right here so then you cut it at the end as well and then you just um, drag it forward right click on it show keyframes actually you know first we actually I forgot bro I'm, I'm the I'm making this tutorial and I don't even know what I'm doing bro. all right we're gonna cut this here Boom. Negative 13. Go into the middle. And then back to negative 15. I mean negative 20. No, not negative 10. Negative 20. Alright, there. See, now you have that. Alright, now you want to right click on the video clip. And time your mapping speed. Go to where he shoots. 
I can't even find it, alright, and then zoom in a little bit, and then press control, and then click, and then go forward 11 times, because remember we had to like fix it up, because it was only 10, and we switched to 11 or whatever. Whoops, I, I don't know if something, alright, so now you put that 300, and you can put that 50 or 60, nothing higher than 60 unless it's a slow-mo clip in or creative or whatever. So now you have this. Boom. So you have this. It's still not working for some reason, but I mean, it's fine. Just fix it up here. It's like 300 or whatever it was. Boom. So now you have this stuff. You want to nest this, always nest it, always nest it. You cannot miss a nest. Now we're going to do the transition part. This should be the fun part. So you press, if you're on a ducky keyboard, which I'm on, you press FN, shift, and then keyframes, but you usually just press shift and then um, arrow keys to the left. So click that twice, one, two. Then just clicking arrow keys, not clicking shift, go back two frames so it's eight frames you want to go eight frames forward and then you want to go to this thing and get all these stuff so you want to go to zoom in one and drag that on so you have this then you want to go another eight frames on the other side and put on 1.1 so you have this So transition that's pretty clean. I think it's a fire transition. I mean, it's fine. It's like not the best. I have better transitions, but I don't want to leak those, you know. Um, but now on this one, you just want to add like whatever impacts you want. So why impact? I guess if this is, that's what you want to add on to it. And I, since I didn't add motion blur on this, you can just add motion blur on this part. So it's like you have a little blur. So now you have this, boom. And now you have that. Alright. So this is basically how you make a thing, and you can just use the regular shakes on beat shakes that are like when there's like not big beats. So now it's basically it, but you want to add a song. So I'll just tell you how to do that. You want to go to a downloader, a video like a like an MP4 downloader or like a MP3 downloader or something, and you want to go. Um, I'll leave it in the description. I'll just leave it in the description, and you want to copy and paste your YouTube URL and download the video in the highest quality you can. It's like 320 or something. I don't know, 320. So you want to go to your wherever you saved your song. And for this video, we'll just use um, No Love because it's a popular song. So you want to, um, you can turn on the song volume. I'll turn it down to like negative eight. And find where the beat is. So you can either go on the side and do this so you can see the song better. But I'm not really going to do that. I'm just going to do it a tiny bit. You want to find where the beat is. Boom. And you want to find the second beat. Find one more beat just in case after that. Alright, so boom. We have this. So now you can fix this up you don't have to make this as long boom so you have this um select all of it and drag it as close as you can forward and drag it all the way to the end select all of it once again and i believe you put it right on here have the and if if the, the song's like over your like pump noises or whatever, you can um turn it up. So just go to the keyframe and turn it up to like negative eight or something. Like it's gonna be a little laggy because of the it needs to render. But 
So if this is a problem with a bunch of people that have that they have is that the song is like it's not on sync. So you wanna like the second part. So you wanna just drag it, and you're gonna have to extend it. You're gonna have to do it. You have to do just extend it, and you might have to do the transition over again. So you probably wanna do the transition. It's the last thing you wanna do at the end of the video. Just do all the transitions. So I'll do that real quick. I'll just zoom past it. Alright, I'm back and we've finished the video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like and subscribe on the video. Let's go. We're on a road to I mean I my goal to by the end of the year is 1k. We can hit that easily in six months though. I don't it's, I don't know when the year's over. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. Like and subscribe. Um Comment what tutorials you want in the description. I mean, not in the description, in comments. Love you guys. Peace.